to become the anonymous. The anonymous. The game begins August 19th on USA. What's going on? My name is Nigeria Chambers. I'm from Big Old Belt Media. Xavier, my brother, good to talk to you today. We got to talk about this new one now, The Anonymous, which is kicking off with three episodes Monday, August 19th on the USA Network. How you feeling today? Feeling good. I'm feeling good. What, what questions you got for me, brother? Let's let's get into it. <laughs> um, to your question before we got started, uh, am I a gamer or do I podcast? And I responded back and said that whatever one's not going to get me eliminated because oh, it's so you're not, how you're not designation... a Marcel thing is what you're trying exactly, to say. <laughs> exactly. It's funny how designations definitely puts a target on you, but uh, that nonetheless, going through it. <laughs> man, and it just was kind of like, but why? You know, so I, I definitely want to start off with that. I would Wait, think Sanjay, real, real, real quick, time out. Sanjay, you, you see, yeah. what have you seen? Three. Okay, first three. got it. All yeah. right, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Almost, you know, almost everybody's sorry, go almost ahead. everybody seen the first three? Yeah, everybody's seen the first. Those yeah. are the first yeah. three. Marcel was going through it. <laughs> those first those first couple of days, I was like, oh, we, him and Lily. <laughs> they, they did not know any sleep. They didn't get they got no rest. I felt so bad. I, I felt offended because I'm not going to say like I'm a gamer because I think the folks that are pro gamers and stream every day as their career, like, you know, yeah. that's how they make their money. But I think the, the slanders behind that, <laughs> making you like the most meticulous person, the best strategist is false. Bro. He can be playing Fortnite for all we know. Uh, <laughs> you don't understand. Marcel was my saving grace. I was like, yes, video <laughs> gamer. He is brilliant at this. I suck at these games. Yeah, Let me yeah, tell yeah. you. This is only number four for me. I'm I'm a rookie just like y'all. Look at that guy. He 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 does video games and chats for a living. <laughs> so and, they just all, like, and they all was buying into it beyond belief. So I, it. I, I, yeah, I hated I, it for I, Marcel because I was like, he, that's, that's my guy. <laughs> but like, hey, poor guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah one we, of us. But for you, man, yeah, just just kind of almost being a fly a fly on the wall there. Like, what was sort of your emotions and sort of reactions to things at a certain point? So I went into the game hoping that no one was going to know who I was. That like I could just kind of that I could kind of approach it similar to how I did Big Brother. Yeah. Um, I, I would I might disclose what I did for a living, but like my reality TV pass, I was like, if I can kind of keep that under wraps, I think that'll help me. I, I think it will put me in a great position to be successful in the game. And then night one, night one, it happens every damn show. <laughs> night one, Dylan comes up to me and he's like, so you know I know who you are, right? I was like, no. <laughs> oh, no way. I thought I was good. Yeah. So at that point, I was like, okay, either I can trust Dylan with this information and keep it under wraps or yeah. – I can tell everybody get in front of it. And now I'm controlling the narrative around my name. Yeah. But I was like, but I was like, but, but part of it was like, if I do that though, this game's going to be so much harder. <laughs> um, so I was like, all right, screw it. I'm telling them whatever. And then from there, at that point, like when, if you go into a game and you're a big threat or you give people reason to think you, like with my background, I was like, I can't necessarily down. I can try, but like, the people who have seen me on shows, which it turns out multiple people knew who I was, I was like, oh, man, I really can't lie about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I can't lie at all. So I was like, okay, I can't necessarily downplay my threat level, but like that voice that's sitting there telling them like, hey, get rid of this man yesterday. As long as I can just, you know, yeah, make them tuck that in their back pocket, yeah. make them ignore that obvious decision that they need to make. I think my goal is then to just like kind of make them ignore the fact that I'm a giant threat for as long as possible in whatever way possible. Like, Hey, I'm a huge threat. You keep me around. That's like, if you get put at risk, you want me standing next to you. Yeah. Hey, I've done this before. Let me help you navigate the game. Like I'm, yeah. I'm using every single angle to try to incentivize these people that I'm, I'm useful. I'm an asset. And though, yes, I am a threat. I'm a threat that can be beneficial to you. Yeah. Yeah. And, but I mean, uh, because I, I think the, the yeah no it was when I the, that first ass risk that first at risk vote oh I was sweating I was sweating <laughs> I was kind of like I was like either it's working or I'm going yeah. home and so I'm pretty sure like I didn't get put at risk and I was like I'm pretty sure I jumped up and celebrated like yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was geek because I was you know I was literally like either I, 
because it was going to tell me kind of my social capital in the game at that point. I was right, like, right. this is going to tell me if socially I'm doing what I need to do or if like my threat level is just too big. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, not being put at risk was great. And then not being put at risk again was really great, but I want safety. So then yeah. the third time <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> I was like, it, it was funny because like the third time it was like, this is great. And like, I'm yeah. hoping I can keep this going. But at this point, by that third day, only myself and Nina hadn't been put at risk. It was just us two, which I was like, socially, we crushing it. Yeah. But everybody probably knows at this point that we're the only two that haven't been put at risk. Yeah. So they probably going to be coming for, I was like, if not, if not both of us, definitely me. Cause like, yeah, they're going to be like, why the hell has he been put at risk? <laughs> and I would be like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just, I'm just hanging out trying to make sure y'all get to the money. That's it. <laughs> I got to tell you funny thing upon like being introduced to the show. And I was like, Oh man, I, I was super excited before I got a chance to walk, uh, to check it out and doing a little background information. The first thing I said was Andy King, huh? Event planner <laughs> for Firefest. Oh, that guy knows Ja Rule, doesn't he? Oh, no, nah, we can't trust him. We, we, we know what happened there. <laughs> Andy, if there's anybody that can't be trusted right now, get Andy, Andy. out of there. <laughs> the funny thing is, Andy's personality is just so vibrant that like people just it love is. him. Yeah. It, he, you, it's, he's a hard guy. Like Truthfully, a lot of the people on the cast, they're just like, they have really likable personalities. Yeah. And like that's very, like, I'm an obvious threat. Like, yeah. there are two types of threats. You have the obvious threat and yeah. the threat that no one's really considering. Yeah, and we had both on our show. We had yeah. obvious threats, and we had people that like were threats, but people didn't really realize it. So it's like between the two, that's the one you need to worry about more. The obvious threat is, is really just like if you let them get far, like what the hell were y'all doing? <laughs> like, yeah, the the, the yeah. obvious threat one is a little bit complicated too, because at times you would think the person who helps build the pot should stay around, and then the person who instantly is either hijacking the game or just doesn't benefit. It should be a no-brainer. If you're not adding yeah. to the pot, you shouldn't even... You, your voice yeah. doesn't matter, in my opinion. I would have yeah. thought that was the strategy, but then it got so many different it, things coming to play each and every Oh, episode. yeah. So so many different things coming to play in, the, in these games that are heavily social. Like, you... Yeah. You're, like, you're, oh, you're too quiet. We need, you're yeah. a threat. <laughs> oh, yeah. They was, they was coming at Lily early with that. I was like... Someone said she was like a mouse. I was like, I don't think she... I was like, I don't think she gave me Mickey Mouse type energy. Like she just, <laughs> like I don't know. Like for some people, like they just, especially I, I've been in a room with a lot of big personalities, which is what you're going to encounter a lot on TV. And like when you have all these big personalities, even if you have an outgoing personality, at times you can just kind of yeah. shrink, or yeah. they're just kind of like getting more like your cocoon. Yeah. Um. And so I didn't really necessarily think she was quiet. I was just like, she's not quiet. Dylan's just loud as hell. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Like, so, you know, but like, I, that was the reason everybody was like, we can't talk to her. We ain't getting none from her. She got to go. Yeah. I was like, well, I don't want her to go. Right. Because I'm big fish right now. <laughs> and, <laughs> and fish is like, uh -huh. fish is Lily. So she can't go nowhere. <laughs> yeah. I got a couple of quick, quick questions. I want to get in there really fast. Yeah, let's get um, it. What was the recruiting and casting process? And where was this film that? Because it was, it was very evidently, it was very cold in the beginning of this. So to the extent that I can answer this question, here's how I'm going to answer that. Um, it filmed in 2024. Okay. And it was filmed in a location that can be found on a globe. <laughs> it's beautiful it looks insane matter of fact it was it was a beautiful oh it looks gosh. unrealistic it's so it looks so oh nice. bro this was as, as far as like like just bougie this is probably the bougiest environment i've ever yeah. been a part of like i've been like i've been in the big brother house actually kind of twice now i went to argentina to film the challenge usa but this was like i was like oh we live <laughs> like yeah it looked bomb the, bro i can't even bunk lie. beds were <laughs> didn't love the bunk beds but <laughs> Everything else, I was like, man, this this is this place is fat. This place is not, it looks like something in an Apple commercial. Like, yeah, that's I'm like, where was I? first thing I thought was like, I've oh, never there, seen this at all. You had some outdoor workout facility. There was yeah. trees in the living room. Yeah. I saw showers outside. I was like, are you kidding me? I can get sudsy while yeah. looking at like nature. Oh my gosh, beautiful location. And I don't know. Hopefully, USA will let you guys know where we were. But I'm just going to say you could find it somewhere on the globe. 
right, the last two questions because I know we're running yes, short on time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now listen. Now Danny got out of line because if there's one thing I know about a black mother, you ain't gonna come for her. So that 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 comment about your mama have no authority here. I said, wait till she hear that. Wait till she hear Ooh. that. <laughs> oh, I was like, wow, Danny, you really choosing <laughs> violence? Like you really, like you want to get unalived, which I don't think is possible. But like that's what you that's what you're going for. All right, my moms don't play. I can tell you that much. My moms don't play. Yep, mom going to enroll in a master's in cybersecurity. That'd be the oh, last yeah. time we hear it. I was like, watch you going, you gonna mess around and catch a virus. Keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm rooting for you. And, if, and, and in case people do not know, you are the first black winner in Big Brother, uh, which is historic. And we love to see our people win and thrive and be in these type of elements. And right now, for the first episode, I'm like, listen, it's 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 about to cook up right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, I, and I love the strategy. It's 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 not something you can you could just write on paper, but it's working. You know, kind of floating under the radar and yeah. using the charm and just you know <laughs> staying out of the way. Exactly how I would play Bruh. it. You know. You got it. Like, again, just because you're a huge threat doesn't mean like your job is not to necessarily get people to for like they're not going to forget that you're a threat. But your job is to try to get them to delay that voice yeah. that's telling you get rid of him for as long as you possibly can. Yeah. Like, like there's, there's really nothing else that you can do. And how you do that, it just comes down to how you're able to connect with people. How you're able to connect with people or from a game standpoint, how are you able to show your value? Yeah. For me, I was like, hey, if you at risk there next to me, hey, y'all need money to the pot? I do competitions and stuff. <laughs> like, hey, you you looking for help to try to figure out how to navigate the game? I've done this before. Let me help. Yeah. Let me give you a little bit of guidance. Let me let me lawyer you a little bit. I yeah. advocate for people on the daily. Let me yeah. get you. <laughs> yeah. It was really making myself as useful as possible. To, yeah. to these people, and I, I would say it was working effectively, and then I figured Danny out. Ah. <laughs> yeah, figured Danny out. Yeah, that now, was, ooh, I, I, ooh, they better show it right, because that took uh, so much brain power. <laughs> that took so, you have no idea. That, there were so many moving pieces to, to figure Danny out, but I figured it out. I figured how, how you can get a group of people to really just kind of dominate the anonymous mode. All right. Well, yeah, listen, yeah. this this is the evil stepchild of the traders in the circle, and, and, and they birthed this, the anonymous, and it's been one hell of a ride uh, thus far, but I definitely want to hear from you, and our very, very final question here is, why do people need to turn into the new reality show that's by all means, or, or, or gaming show, however you want to call it, that's really going to sweep the world? That's the that's the anonymous, which is coming to so, the network. So the anonymous, it's a show where it incentivizes people to turn on their allies. It's a show where it takes all these other shows and little bits and pieces of them and mushes them all together in this cornucopia of deception and to quote Alan Cummings, treachery. <laughs> uh, and so like, if you, if you like deception, if you like treachery, if you like, if you like seeing a show that is just built to breed conflict, no matter what, like there's no getting around it. You, yeah. There's going to be conflict until unless somebody figures out the game, but <laughs> there's, there's going to be conflict. There's going to be strife. You're going to see people's emotions. You're going to see people get high, get low. If you like good reality competition series, this is one to check out because I tell you what, the concept in theory I liked and then being a part of it, it, it tests me more than any other show has socially and strategically. Amazing. Well, listen, brother, I'll see you at the finish line. But in the meantime, folks, you need to check out the first three episodes coming to USA Network August 19th. Xavier, it's been a pleasure talking to you today. Pleasure, brother. Appreciate you.